everybody. So the basic idea behind our cat fence was brackets that faced into the yard with netting on it that our cats weren't able to climb, but also so the neighbor cats wouldn't feel comfortable walking across it. So all of our brackets are just pressure treated one by six deck board um, that we cut at an angle. They're about two feet long and then we ripped them in half to get our individual brackets. And then once we did that, we pre-drilled all of our holes in them. So it was a lot easier to run the zip ties through. So on this side of the fence where it's flat, we just added a two by four and we're able to take our brackets, which we already cut and drilled holes for the zip ties and screwed them in. Um, the cable that's underneath is very taut, so no cats can go underneath. And then we also added a screw, so just the weight of the cable didn't weigh the netting down. So on our neighbor's side of the fence, we ran into a couple of difficulties just with it being an older fence and with it having the posts in on our side of the yard. Um, the fence is a little bit uneven, so while we were able to attach the brackets directly to the posts, we had to put the netting up in individual sections just because it was so uneven. And then we ran the cable in behind the posts and then again put another screw just to kind of help with the weight of the cable not pull the netting down. We also drilled the holes for the zip ties a little bit bigger on this side so we could fit two in to accommodate both sides of the netting. In the end we decided against doing cable on the top because we were too concerned about the weight of the cable pulling the netting down. On the longer ends of the fence where we didn't have a gate anywhere we ran the cable we added an eye bolt with a washer on the other side ran one of these which you can tighten with and then secured it with a couple of these. That way the cable is really nice and tight and nothing can get in behind it. With this we can tighten or loosen it if they get leaves behind which we will on the other side. We are able to loosen this and get those leaves out. So on all of the brackets that we couldn't attach directly to the fence we added an L bracket for stability just because of the tension of the netting. We didn't want to pull the bracket in. We also, on all the shorter sides of the fence, just stapled the netting in instead of using the cable. So on the gate that opens into our yard, it was a lot easier for us than the other gate. Um, we just put a bracket to make sure again that the R bracket isn't pulling in with the force of the netting. And then as you open it, there's just slack into the yard. So on this gate, it was a little bit more complicated because it opens out of the backyard and into the front yard. All we really had to do was just put brackets on the gate individually, not attached to either sides of the fence. Um, and then this one that opens, that is on the opening side, is at a little bit of an angle. That way it can open up and not hit the fence here. So to combat the cats going out front through the garage door whenever we brought the car in or out, we added them their own special entryway that goes in and out of our guest room. And they have their own little platform and steps that go down that they can go out into the yard whenever they want.